So here we are in front of the PET CT scanner and uh, it's made of two parts really. Uh, this bit here is the CT scanner. It's an x-ray scanner that produces, produces tomographic images of the body at extremely high resolution. In the far, further part is the PET part and that's where the radiation is detected in order to, uh, to calculate uh, tomographic images of the distribution radio pharmaceuticals which have previously been injected into the body and are now circulating in an apt equilibrium with various organs. Hello. Yes, I think uh, we're entering a new phase of research and uh, very soon we hope to have multiple sclerosis patients in this scanner using a new tracer, a radio pharmaceutical tracer that is, is sensitive for picking up um, inflammation, which is uh, one of the key steps in the development of MS. I think it may, may well be. Um, the uh, PET does not produce as detailed images as MRI does. It doesn't produce high resolution images, but it is certainly able to detect um, pharmaceuticals in the body at one thousandth of the concentration that MRI can. Scans? I think definitely we're talking about using scans to determine the various stages of the disease, remitting, relapsing stages, and distinguishing between those on the basis of the concentration of these radiopharmaceuticals.